What if every country in Europe had a fair chance to win a continental battle royale? That's what's gonna happen here. We even have some places that aren't in the European continent. Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and then a lot of cameos from some Middle Eastern nations, so I guess it's possible they win too. Now, usually in the World War Simulator, we're using a world map, but here with just the European map, this pretty much changes everything. We also have some pretty important mountain ranges accounted for here, as well as very different Mediterranean crossings. Probably gonna be some very big fights between Greece and Turkey, that's for sure. Now, I feel like my money's on Spain to win because they're probably going to eliminate Portugal very easily, go into North Africa, maybe meet the Italians out here in the Mediterranean. Then they'll be cornered off in this part of the map, only facing like a single front in a war. So the nations have already spread across the oceans as well as we have our first war. Everyone's grabbing up these sea territories. Spain got pretty close to Sardinia. Also, the English got a bunch of the North Sea up here. The first war is actually between Turkey and our... Okay, that's... That's awkward. We also have another fight between Sweden and Norway. Now, Norway has their capital right next to Sweden, which might be bad. If Norway actually put it out here, that'd be a much better decision. This mountain range could really protect them. Literally, just like World War II, uh, Denmark got eaten in like six hours. They declared war on Sweden, and then Germany declared war on them, and then boom, poof, vanished. So look at these alliances building up. We have France and Belgium. There's Ukraine and Moldova. Also, Greece and Macedonia. North Macedonia, that is, sorry. So, Ukraine does not technically start off in a war against Russia, although I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna happen. Ooh, but if they could take out Belarus- Oh, wait a second! Russia just backstabbed their old pal in Belarus! I didn't even see that Kazakhstan is here! Good, a nice European nation like Kazakhstan involved. Or maybe I should've been more careful with that. Uh, they- they are- they're- they're dead. So is Belarus as well. Did Lithuania get a little bit out of that? Norway is gone. Also, Russia is starting things up again against Finland. This literally is World War II, except Germany is not going around the low- well, I guess they kinda did. They went around the Dutch, but they left Belgium alone. Uh, they've peaced out for now, but wow, France, that is that is not good. Serbia was just conquered by Bulgaria. Also, there's a new alliance here. Ooh, we, do we have like a Balkan Union going on? Romania just ate Hungary. It's a funny choice of words. Also, we have a big Middle Eastern war. Turkey fighting Syria and Iraq at the same time. This is probably not going to be good for these two smaller nations. I mean, Iraq doesn't even have all of their territory over here. And there it goes, the Czech Republic. Austria got a lot out of that. Ooh, and Bosnia has taken out Croatia. Greece now trying to fight Bulgaria and Albania at the same time. Spain has actually declared war on Italy, not Portugal, and they're not even friends with Portugal. I don't know why, again, Portugal, just miracles, They their, their survival has been a miracle in the game and in real life, I mean. Maybe the alliance with Morocco has kind of helped them there. Russia going after the Baltic states once again after they did take out Finland. Yeah, Russia's gonna be a giant, giant problem. They've also connected their territory here in Kaliningrad. I just saw Tunisia supporting Italy with some donations in their war against Spain, but that conflict is over now. We've got some very interesting teams forming France and Belgium are now homies. Russia is looking at giant. I don't know who is their friend exactly. This just looks like Russia. Oh, it's actually just Latvia for some reason. So big powers are getting like kind of smaller minor power friendships, but it's not a lot. Oh, I didn't know Iceland was also a part of this. Maybe to try to stop the UK from advancing. This world already looks pretty ugly. We're dealing with some pretty massive border gore. Also, is Albania going to take out Greece right now? What is going on? North Macedonia is gone. Turkey also didn't expand too far into the Middle East either. There's the war with Spain, but unfortunately Spain is fighting Morocco at the same time. Something tells me my pick is actually not gonna do that well here. Ooh, there we go. Poland versus Russia. Now, there's not a huge front for them to work with here. Maybe Poland can hold them back. Also, another big war between France and Belgium. Well, France... Oh, France is dead. Uh, I meant France and Belgium is helping them. Okay, Germany is literally looking like World War II Germany. Spain did get a lot of southern France. They peaced out with Portugal. Someone's gonna have to stop the huge power that's growing. Okay, Latvia is donating aiding to Russia right now. Look at Ukraine aid Poland somehow. They're, they grabbed like, a, I don't even know how they got this to be honest but that like really shortened the front lines with Russia and Poland. Georgia and Armenia are trying to fight each other but this mountain range is making it really hard. Ooh Austria out of nowhere with kind of a backstab here. They're moving really close to Berlin now. Maybe Slovenia will slow it down. Switzerland pushing in. Can we get a Swiss win? That would be amazing. Slovenia just single handedly killed Austria. Saving Germany. That is insane. Now Germany has has a better chance of regaining the front lines. Montenegro is just captured by Albania. Again, Spain now going after Germany with the help of Italy. This is, wow, Germany's dealing with a lot. Oh, they peaced out with Switzerland, so it's not too, too bad. Spain moving in, make, taking the Reconquista to a whole other level as they slowly approach the capital of Morocco. Ooh, Moldova is gone, and now Romania is quickly destroying Ukraine, but no, they, they, they're gonna stop. They're gonna stop for now. Economically, they're about the same, which speaking of that, just look at the area Russia has compared 
everyone else. I mean, Turkey and Germany in a two and third spot, but they're so far away. Gold wise, it is Russia, but man, Sweden is rich as well. Russia fighting Georgia right now, but you know what? Georgia's holding their own. Ugly borders that we got going on here. Ooh, the UK going after Belgium. This is one of the only crossings they have right here, and they are bu busting through. They're going to grab, there it is, Brussels. The Faroe Islands are also gone up here. Is Spain collapsing? What is this? And just as I predicted, Ukraine, of course, was going to find themselves in a war against Russia. We'll see if Romania, wow, this is a very big alliance that is forming, probably to try to offset Russia's power. We do have an Albanian Greece that is formed, but they are slowly being pushed back. Ooh, who was that that's giving aid? Is that Germany? Pretty much almost everyone is in an alliance at this point, well, except if you're a Sweden. For some reason, Sweden really messed up. They made a lot of people angry. We have the Spanish and Italians working together, but Portugal and Morocco has been pushing Spain in Iberia. We have a German-Polish alliance. That's a new one. And Turkey looks like they're about to. Well, they were going to destroy Albania. The problem is that Syria is now pushing back in the Middle East. Russia has decided to set their sights now on Estonia because they couldn't eliminate Ukraine. But you know what? What is what is going on? What is going on? Estonia! Estonia pushing through. Are they going to destroy the only Russian ally? Yes, they did. Estonia just took out Latvia. Amazingly. The Poles and Germans have stopped moving in after Sweden for now. And Bosnia is probably going to eliminate Slovenia. There it is. But uh, Poland got a lot out of that. That collapse there. Now we have, again, the Romanians and Ukrainians getting into it. But Romania is fighting this by themselves. No help from Bulgaria or Turkey. Sweden now fighting Russia just momentarily there. Russia's definitely been slowed down quite a bit. I, I'm assuming it's got to be because of the alliances. Albania is a part of the Romanian alliance as well. I don't even know what the official name is, but they were seeing, uh, they saw them like giving money away. Turkey and Russia, man, this is giving me flashbacks to the 18th century because I was there. I remember it like it was yesterday. There goes Sweden. The British are going to get a lot of the modern day Norwegian territory. Uh, Estonia got a lot out of that too. Now Estonia just needs to like build up this land. This is the biggest dark horse to maybe win the game. It'd be amazing if Estonia could somehow fight this. They are allied to Ukraine. That's a, that's a good one. They gotta, they gotta somehow negate Russia's power over here. I do really like the German-Polish team, this little alliance they've got as well. Lebanon has made it to Cyprus. Oh, well, they actually might die instantly because Turkey wants all of this. Man, if Turkey can grip, grab all the Middle East, they're gonna be a force to, to be reckoned with. Look at this thick Bosnia as well. They're also doing great. I would like Sweden to do something about their borders, kind of clean that up a little bit, but whatever. This is definitely well whether you win this or not okay well that uh i think sometimes i feel like it's not always a good thing for some countries to eliminate others because look germany got most out of that Ooh, the big old uk german war the british are going to try to eliminate this i don't know if they're no no germans or what exactly they look like no no germany for a second because of the way they took out denmark and france i guess and the netherlands again portugal and morocco working together to eliminate spain spain i don't know what spain is doing where are the front lines at huge war now with russia wow russia what are you doing what are you do ukraine Poland. Poland and uh, Estonia at the same time. This is a terrible idea. Although the Bosnians are pushing the Poles in the back. Oh, brush. Uh, Spain's dead. Spain is dead. We now have an Iberian Union controlled by Portugal. Morocco and Algeria also getting into it. Really love how much the uh, Russians have slowed down. That gives everyone else a chance to maybe, maybe catch up. Turkey's definitely looking like the second great power. Turkey's really safe from the Russians, though, because of this mountain range. They might have to meet somewhere in, like, Austria or something. The British pushing pretty deep into the Germans, but they're, they're, they're piecing out for now. What is this alliance? Germany, Poland, and Russia now teaming up. I... I am flabbergasted. How could you do this? It's definitely a scary team. Now Italy looking to uh, do a little World War II move, taking out Albania, and they've done that. They've accomplished that. Italy needs to do something because they really haven't changed at all their borders. The Swiss and Bosnians now single-handedly taking on the Germans and the Poles, but uh, Iceland is helping them up here. The volcanic Vikings. Always got to watch them. It is just Armenia now over here in the Caucasus Mountain regions. Azerbaijan has been destroyed. Probably got taken out a long time ago. Wow, look at Saudi Arabia go. But it's only a matter of time before Turkey probably eliminates them. Oh, man, that, oh, that's not good. You don't want Ukraine to fall. If Ukraine falls, Poland is not going to get most out of it. It's going to be mostly Russia and maybe Romania. Why are you guys fighting so, I don't understand this. I do not understand this logic. Oh, uh, there goes the Estonians. They're definitely going to collapse. And here goes the Ukrainians as well. Well, maybe there's one last effort to stop. This is absolutely insane. I do think it's still pretty much anyone's game. Even though Russia is massive, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean everything. There's a lot of other factors in this AI simulation. Man, that's a 
big old Switzerland. That's a huge Switzerland, and there goes Bosnia. Ukraine is still alive, but man, look at the look at the vampire nation go. Still, this alliance so weird. I'm guessing it's because Germany realized they're just not strong enough. They need they need to ally to someone more powerful. Portugal and the Italians are getting into it. We'll see how this naval battle goes. How are these three African nations still here? Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. That's crazy. Very very thick pole, and there's probably going to be a war against Romania soon. And is Turkey strong enough to really defend their allies? I don't think so. There goes Armenia, taken out by. Uh, Turkey. They're also choosing to go after Saudi Arabia. It might, this might take some time. A lot of people, there's kind of a cold war going on. A lot of money's being thrown around by certain allies. Now, what Russia needs to be careful is if they feed Poland too much land in the rest of Europe, then Poland's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. They're, they're going to have this alliance, so they're not going to be able to go to war, and then Poland might be able to backstab Russia, take them out really easily. A Portuguese-German war now taking place in Iberia. The problem is that the Russians are really aiding the Germans a lot. They're throwing in a lot of money. Uh, Portugal doesn't have that type of ally. Uh, Morocco is giving some money too, but I don't know if it's really going to make that much of a difference. Russia's, I think, the richest country in the world right now. Man, Ireland has been so... Has this border even moved at all? I don't think it has. I guess they have been allied for quite some time. Oh, the UK are now allied to Switzerland, and the Italians are actually allied to Algeria and Tunisia. There's really a four-way team going on for right now. I'm sure there's going to be people that end up leaving this team. So the Germans, Poles, and... Oh, there goes Ukraine. The Germans, Poles, and Ukrainians are pretty much fighting almost everyone. This is such a scary alliance right here. The Turks have not been able to eliminate Saudi Arabia yet either. Wow, how did they... I didn't even know... There must have been one British dot here, and they started to expand. I don't think they're going to be able to connect their territories, though. The Germans have actually made it around and in the Iberian... Uh, the I Iberian... U what? Uh, peninsula. I could not even think. Uh, the thing is, Portugal's capital is nice. Lisbon's nice and far away right here in the corner. They're going to have to drive through every single inch of Portugal right now, and this is the problem, because uh, Switzerland's right there. Also, they're lucky that they're allied to Poland, because Poland is dangerously close to Berlin. Whoa, whoa, the Germans just made- oh, oh, no way. No way. The British have been eliminated. I did not expect that by the Germans. I thought the Germans weren't doing really anything. I think they're really being funded by the Russians right now. Ireland has got their Celtic Empire back. That's pretty epic. Oh, man, they might- they, yeah, that might instantly get just destroyed. The fact that Switzerland's been fighting here by themselves for so long is, is, is amazing. It's incredible. There's a big war to kick the Italians out of the Balkans and way more. Turkey's actually launched a massive invasion inside of the Italian peninsula. Look at this team. So I guess the Germans, Poles, and Russians are deciding first to eliminate everyone, and then they'll fight each other. And again, the problem is, like I said earlier, this is a, this is not good for the Russians. They're going to allow Germany to get really thick, especially because Dublin is at any moment going to collapse. Are you going to finally eliminate Switzerland? Is this it? Uh, did you finally get rid of them? They did. They finally did it. And then there goes Ireland at the same time. The Germans are trying to push into Turkey, but they're having a tough time with that. Also, it looks like Rome is probably going to get taken by the Turks as well. Germany's trying to push into Iberia. That's like the next spot they can gain a lot of territory. Oh boy. Oh wow. That was crazy. For a second there, I thought Romania was just going to swoop in on Poland. It might happen here. And 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 it did. It. I. Oh wait, wait. They're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. They moved their capital way up north, I think. Romania. What is going on? What is this? Who did this? Also, wait a sec. Okay, so the, the basically Poland's gone. They're not gone exactly. Uh, the Germans are trying to help their ally Russia. What is happening? happening. Romania, are you serious? Oh, Turkey also destroyed Saudi Arabia. Again, uh, Turkey's probably helping out the Romanians a ton. This is crazy. Also, Berlin had to be moved as well because they did take Berlin. Where is the capital now? Oh, the German capital is now hiding inside of Denmark. Oh, we actually even have the Italians pushing into Romania. Romania is making a lot of people very angry. I don't know how they're going to hold on to all this. The Germans are pretty focused on the Portuguese right now. Wait, how much has the alliance map changed? It really hasn't at all. No way. No way. They had to peace out last second or else Moscow is going to get taken. Now, they're going to have a chance to move. They're going to have a chance to move Moscow at the last second. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Romania, the, Ro the Romanian alliance is collapsing a little bit. Italy's been able to make a lot of gains here in southern France against Germany. Romania is the second nation in the world in terms of land area. Oh, someone finally killed Iceland. Poland did. Oh, wait a second. Did Bulgaria finally get backstabbed? Oh, no way. Turkey left the alliance. This has got to be it. This has got to be it for Romania. The Turks were really helping a ton economically. Oh, that's, oh, that sucks. Well, now whose team does Turkey join? They joined the Italians, weirdly. I guess they just had too many problems trying to move through the Italian peninsula. The Russians and Turks get into it a little bit, but it's there's really not much that can be done. Oh, man, now you have the Bulgarians backstabbing uh, Romania, too, which is, oh, my goodness. Wow, who is... 
Portugal really trying to keep the Bulgarians alive right now, sending over a lot of funds. Romania also fighting all sides. The Tunisians are finally gone, meaning it's just Algeria and Morocco and North Africa. Oh, so basically the Bulgarians were kicked out. Wait, did the Poles just leave? Yes, they did. The Poles just left the German-Russian team now. They joined the Portuguese. So there's a three-way alliance basically happening in Europe, and Poland is smashed right in the middle. Oh my goodness, a huge collapse. Romania is finally gone. Man, that was, that was beautiful to watch, though. What a crazy three-way alliance. This really is anyone's game, to be quite honest. You can't look at the nations individually. You have to look at the teams. Bulgaria is actually the richest country on Earth, and it's not even close. I never thought I'd say that. I, I don't know who's going to collapse. Is it going to be Germany or Poland? Germany and Poland are, are both looking really weak now, if anything. There goes Poland. Okay, of course it was going to be Poland. The Italians looking huge. Wow, the Italians are literally fighting everyone by themselves. I feel like there's no way Bulgaria could win this, right? Probably going to be some alliance changes that happen pretty soon here. If the Bulgarians and Italians can just team up. That's what really needs to happen, but they keep fighting each other like this. Surprised that Turkey hasn't helped to try to eliminate Bulgaria. Maybe Turkey's focused on other things. I don't really know what... Okay, maybe this is it. Portugal really funding a, a lot. I think Portugal is really a big reason why Bulgaria is still existing. Oh, finally. Is finally... Is Germany going to finally get destroyed? Is that... Oh, they did get their capital taken, but now they're, they've are they hidden back. They've fallen back to Ireland. I think the big person that would reap the benefits to the, from the collapse of the Germans would be the Italians. Man, the Italians are looking really big right now. Really big. Bulgaria's just got so much money. They're loaded. Did Turkey just backstab their ally? I think Turkey might have just joined a different team. Is there only two teams right now, or are these all... There's only two teams. There's only one alliance in the world. It's just Portugal and Bulgaria. Oh, and now the Russians have just joined... Whoa. The Turks have completely taken over the Italian peninsula oh that's got to be it that's the big thing that keeps italy safe is that their capital is in rome oh they, they got to try to peace out it's over it's over. The Italians are done. Now the Turks are trying to destroy Russia and Bulgaria at the same time. Oh, when did the Germans collapse? I didn't even see that. It's really just... Is Turkey by themselves right now? Turkey's not in a single team. Turkey's fighting the entire world by themselves. They don't have anyone <laughs> on their side. This is crazy. Okay, who's gonna help out Turkey? Come on. I, I don't understand. You guys just all gonna gang up on Turkey? This is crazy. And oh my goodness. I don't know how they pieced out of that. They're hiding in Cyprus and they're probably gonna be able to move their capital. Okay, so finally the alliance did get broken. That was just evil. It's now just Portugal and Turkey by themselves. They, they're allied to each other now. The alliance has now broke between Russia and Bulgaria. These guys were just bullying uh, Portugal and Turkey at this point. Oh my goodness, the tables have turned though. Now Bulgaria has joined Portugal and uh, Turkey and Russia has finally come to an end. Oh wait, not yet, not yet. They have a chance. They are literally just on the corners of the map right now. Okay, they are now banished to Iceland. Russia has lost everything. It is now Bulgaria that has taken most of Russian lands. Now, are you guys going to keep this alliance up or you guys probably have to start fighting i think oh and i think they will wait did bulgaria just eliminate i didn't even see i didn't even realize that bulgaria just eliminated turkey like nothing but here it is it's now portugal versus bulgaria pretty much with an observer nation russia oh bulgaria is actually working with russia and it's just about over bulgaria sweeped over russia in iceland really quick i don't know when they did that backstab and boom portugal is dead the world conqueror bulgaria here in europe as well as like parts of asia and north africa i would have never thought or predicted Bulgaria to win this. This is probably one of the most shocking AI results I've ever seen. And big thanks to my patrons. Help, this is the real Drew. I was kidnapped and that's the Drew's imposter. Drew's Argentinian The slow, grandpa. depressing Portugal Schengen, collapse Schengen, has Schengen, begun. Schengen, 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 Schengen. Follow the amateur archaeology. Is Drew, John, Drew, John, Drew, John, 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 The Great Ralph, the Polish, the Mexican, the Drew, his ransom is five filet of fish and he's at 308 Negro Arroyo Lane.